KPIX 5 News at 6 begins right now with a neck and neck district attorney's race in San Francisco. Good evening. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. And I'm Ken Bassita. Some new numbers just coming in. Uh, check out how close this race is between Susie Loftus and Chessa Boudin. Uh, she leads by 2,200 votes this evening with tens of thousands of ballots still left to count. Uh, KPI X 5s Wilson Walker is following this uh, race very closely, and he joins us with the latest. Wilson? Ken, we say that every vote counts, and do you need more evidence of that? Now, as for whether it's your first, second, or third choice, that, of course, is more complicated. That's what they're trying to figure out in City Hall right now. Hanging in the balance, the head of law and order in San Francisco. How will this play out? We're not going to know for a bit, but the two likely outcomes, well, they are a little different, and they are certainly very interesting. Uh, we had some ballots come to us in the, in the mail today. It was like 13, 14,000. Nearly 70,000 votes left to be counted, but the 16,000 votes counted today pushed Susie Loftus into a 2% lead in the San Francisco District Attorney's race. This after three rounds of ranked choice voting. Now, the candidate who received the most first choice votes. People are hungry for change. They're hungry for a different, more humane, more effective approach to criminal justice that does more than just punish people in a revolving door. Public defender um, Chesa Boudin ran we... very much as the establishment opponent. You'll remember Susie Loftus was appointed to the job by Mayor London Breed just 17 days before the election. How might the two of them handle the job differently? I, I would just say that being the district attorney is a very specific skill set. It's not easy. It doesn't translate directly from any other job. Tony Brass is a former San Francisco prosecutor. He says Loftus has a more traditional DA background, but a Boudin victory might not seem all that different from the past several years. I think Gascon made his name on being a police reformer, and I think that uh, Chesa Boudin wants to do the same. Uh, neither of them had ever been a prosecutor before. Um, you know, I've got a lot of experience on the ground uh, that George Gascon didn't have when he took office. I've spent most of the last seven years in San Francisco's criminal courts. I've tried more than two dozen jury trials to verdict in front of San Francisco juries. Loftus declined to speak on camera today. She says she will wait for more detailed results. So with the votes cast, the respective campaign headquarters sat deserted today as the counting dragged on across town. So there might be some some final processing, but th I think like the bigger numbers will be done by end of next week. So there you go, sort of middle or late next week. Maybe we know how this is going to shake out. Now, flashback to September of last year when Mayor London Breed jumped at the chance to endorse Susie Loftus for this position long before we knew what was going to happen to George Gascon. She wanted an ally in that office to help with her plans for the city. Remember, that office does not answer to the mayor. You would like to have an ally there. So that's why London Breed would love to see Susie Loftus elected. Now, the other race that Mayor London Breed was particularly interested in, her appointee in District 5, who was trailing last night but now holds a lead of two tenths of one percent. So the District 5 race incredibly close, but Valley Brown now with a slim, uh, slim lead over Dean Preston. Lots of votes still to be counted. We will stay on top of it for you. Live here at City Hall, Wilson Walker, KPI.